Now let's move on to Advanced Health, which was listed on the JSC in April 2014. Mm -hmm. So this one is uh, associated with a fellow called Carl Grillenberger, who used to work in a business in South Africa related to life healthcare. Then went to Australia, started a whole bunch of day clinics, and has now come back, although this entity, small cap, actually still owns the asset in Australia. That's where most of the money comes from, but they're rolling out day clinics here in South Africa, places like Ruhrapoort and Imalatleni and so on. And it's in a growth phase, so it's not yet paying a dividend. Uh, let's have a look at the share price graph. As you say, it's a relatively small player. Uh, I don't know how to describe that chart. <laughs> <laughs> it's not um, a happy sort of Not a happy thing. looking chart. But it's a bit like Taste Holdings and some of the other companies we know well. Uh, it's got a market cap of, I don't know, what did you say there, 400 million rand or something? So definitely way And it's in a rollout phase. But the day clinic model, of course, you understand what that is. That's where you're going to have like a bunionectomy or you're going to have your wisdom teeth removed or something. You're not going to sleep over. That's the point. It's actually really nice not to have to sleep over. Definitely. <laughs> Who wants to sleep over? <laughs> Perhaps <laughs> on that strategy we call it hot. I was going to say certainly Paul just took the words out of my who, is going to, who wants to sleep over in a hospital. <laughs> but I think if you look at the, the price chart, it's almost like the slides for children. Mm. Just one way. It's like a and shop, yeah, certainly. And it has, because it hasn't really delivered so far on this growth strategy, people are getting a little bit anxious. But look, the other point to make is that it's not like the day clinic strategy is theirs alone. I don't know if you've noticed, but around all of the other major facilities, oh, you have day, absolutely. day clinics for days, so all the medical ward, specialists, and they're developing ward. them in inside and in the buildings adjacent to the hospital complexes all around Although the country. I, I still have to say they've had day wards for a long time. Yeah, sure. Which is the same thing. Same thing. So it's not like, I guess what advanced healthcare's model is, is that there's a lot less capital investment involved. You know that you're just a day clinic and you can design them from the ground up and then you can find new facilities and new physicians and medical specialists to come and associate themselves with you. Hot or not? Not hot. Hot or not, Paul? Uh, I think we've been saying it's a little bit too small, but it's an interesting company and I know it's attracted a lot of negative criticism and some people have been saying it's taking too long, but you know. Hot. Hot. I'm going to say not hot not on account hot. of the scale <laughs> and the you know, road to profitability, but it's definitely one to watch.